following tip comes as a uh, as a request from one of the subscribers who asked uh, what the effect of changing your anchor has on your gaps so I think the easiest way to describe that is just to show it so we'll just take an arrow and put it on we'll uh, anchor right up under the knock each time my initial anchor I'm going to use my index finger and I'm going to place it right in the corner of my mouth and put the C behind the mandible there so that'll be the initial anchor I'm going to put the tip of the arrow on the base of the string up there and just let the arrow impact wherever it will you'll see the lower my anchor the further up the target uh, the arrow will impact equating or corresponding to a larger gap so let's shoot that one first Okay, now what we're going to do is take another arrow, go to the same place. This time I'm going to go up one finger, so I'm going to put the middle finger in the exact same place that the index finger was on the last shot. Same aim point. Okay, now on the last one, um, I'm going to go all the way up to this this bottom finger and put it there. Same shot, same aim point. Now my left to rights are off because the higher I get up my face, the further out I am. So you'd have to tune your bow to those uh, to wherever you're anchoring. But I want to show you the difference in going up the face with a higher anchor closer to the eye, closing the gap between the knock of the arrow and the eye, how that reduces the gap. Let's go look at the impact. So you can see the first arrow, I had the low anchor. I was aiming down at the base of the string. So the gap at, I was at 15 yards. So at 15 yards, your gap would be that much. Okay, that's probably close to 25, 26 inches. The next arrow, I went up one finger can see that's about a eight or nine inch difference you came down you reduced the gap from where your point was aimed your points aimed there you reduce that gap the third one and as I said it'll go left because I was out further from my face based on where my fingers got the third one was about another eight inches lower than that so the closer I get to my eye the higher my anchor is getting that knock closer to my eye, reducing the angle from eye to intended impact point and arrow to intended impact point, the smaller the gap gets. So the higher you can get that anchor, the better off you are in terms of uh, reducing gap. However, um, you've got to be able to get off the string clean, it's got to be comfortable and it's got to be very repeatable. But this is uh, in answer to one of the subscribers' questions of how does changing the anchor reduce or increase the gap. Uh, there's a practical application of the impacts of the arrow based on changing one finger. Each finger equates to about eight inches difference at 15 yards.